you hear I'm an author so I make videos about books and writing and quite a bit of my struggles uh, in my author career. Today's video is an important one for me because it's sort of emotional, sort of exciting and has quite a lot of announcements in it. Before I confuse you a lot with what I'm about to do and I'm, I'm sure the title has done that already, I should give you a bit of context. Back in 2008 I was running a business website and a personal blog, well not, it was half personal, half business and it focused on PR and marketing and I thought I love travel, I travel a lot, I should make a blog about that and that's how initially Travel Spells came to be. It was created on a subdomain of my main business website which was a wrong move and I can explain that to you if you need to know why you shouldn't start a blog on a subdomain just ask in the comments and uh, yeah I marketed it and I wrote articles and took photos and posted them and a year and a half into that I realized that keeping it on a subdomain was a big mistake so I rebranded it, uh, bought a new domain name and that's how Travel Twix was born and now about seven years later about eight or nine years since I first started this travel blog, my travel blog is no longer mine. And that saddens me more than I actually expected. It wasn't news to me, I've been working on selling it for a while and now it's sold. It's completely not mine anymore, it's registered to someone else and Believe it or not, or not, the moment that drove that home was receiving a notification email from Facebook telling me I was no longer admin of the Travel Twix Facebook page. And that's how I said goodbye to 8-9 years of hard work. It hurt! <laughs> as exciting as it was and how accomplished I felt initially when I finally got this whole process uh, completed and uh, yeah, I, I've been dealing with it as best as I can and I'm still processing, I think. I'm expecting an emotional outburst at some point, but right now I'm just excited because Travel Twix was what sourced most of my writing career. Running this blog, it paid for a lot of things like author conferences and new books and editing and stuff like that because initially I wasn't making that much money from books alone I mean it was dreadful in the beginning I didn't know a lot of what I was doing so I had other projects that kept me quite busy so it was still writing but it was non-fiction writing some freelance some on my blog and that's how I made my money and um, now that part of my life is over because I sold my website, well, one of them. I still have Pet Travel Tales, which is mostly about me and my travels with my dogs and generally what it means to travel when you have a pet. But that's more of a passion project that I don't invest a lot of time in. It's not exactly a business and it's certainly not something I had a lot of time for. And um, Travel Twix was the main driver of everything else that I did so I put a lot of work into it as time passed I stopped having enough time for it because I was busy with my books and I was busy with eyes on books which is my book blog I used to offer book promotion services like blog tours and release parties and stuff like that right but that's also gone now and eyes on books was actually the bit that helped you know, support me and pay for everything I did in my writing career because I've been published since 2014 and since then I've been to four, five author events, all of them international and that entails a lot of cost. Plus I had to market my books, get covers, publish them, you know, pay for ads, pay for newsletters, stuff like that, plus, you know, generally bills. Bit of a little bit of credit card debt because you know this is still Romania and I still needed quite a bit of money to survive my time in Bucharest as a student and later as a freshly employee of a corporate world sort of thing. So yeah, plus I used 
a loan to buy my car and stuff like that, but that's been paid off. I mean, I think the past three or four years were about paying off all that and getting to a point where I had no debt anymore. And then I had to upgrade my computer this year and renovate this room and that piled up. It wasn't as bad as it used to be, but I was kind of upset about all of that. I didn't want it and now that's going to be all covered. Why this is important for my writing career is that after all the payments are through and my tax for the state, the Romanian state is also paid, I will still have money to invest in my books and support myself for about six months. I'm not going to give you numbers for the simple fact that I live in Romania, I don't pay rent and living here is quite a lot cheaper than in other parts of the world. It's not exactly free, but you know, it can't compare to, I don't know, living in the heart of London. So this is where the 25 week challenge comes into play. I intend to take this 25 weeks, so six months roughly, and do my very best to make sure I make enough money as a writer to support myself, as a fiction writer that is. So not through the non-fiction writing I do because I already knew how to do that. I decided to give that up and focus more on fiction writing. I have a plan for all of that. I have a busy schedule ahead of me and uh, I hope I can pull it off. I am going to stick to my initial plan of keeping the bulk of my novels self-published. That's my email. I'm sorry about the interruption. I don't think I'm going to edit that out because that's going to happen a lot. So it would take just way too long. Uh, anyway, so back to the challenge. I intend to, ke to keep the bulk of my published books as self-published, but I kind of decided to work with a couple of small independent publishers and I have some other secret ideas and projects that I want to tackle, but I don't want to talk about a lot now because they're just ideas. I haven't worked on them yet. I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but I will keep you updated. Anyway, everything will have to do with fiction. Why I decided to make this move? Well, I'd like to say it was because I was following my passion, but it was mostly because I just couldn't deal with everything any anymore. Uh, this year has been extremely rough for me. I've decided to focus more on my writing, but I still had bills to pay and I still had to have money to invest in my writing career. So pretty much 2017 was a Monday to Sunday work week uh, with long days spent at the computer and being generally extremely exhausted. <laughs> and I had to make a choice, something had to give and I had to sort of lighten my load. So the first thing, thing that went away was my blog tour business. I just stopped doing blog tours. There weren't as many anymore, but I just, I just didn't see the point of putting so much work into something that wasn't making me a lot of money and I wasn't that sure it helped authors as much as it did like three or four years ago when I started doing them. I have other plans about how I'm going to help authors. I'm more interested in sort of reviewing their existing PR and marketing plans and actions and giving them feedback on what's working, what's not working, what they should improve, what they should focus on, but that's further into the future. I'm pretty confident I can make it to a decent point of income within the next six months basically because I have the first six months of 2017 to analyze and I'm happy to say that at the end of the third quarter of this year so at the end of September I would have made twice the amount I made last year in books so that's pretty good I think it's a good result for me and I didn't just work on this. I couldn't focus on writing alone or on promoting my books alone. Hell, I just told you about it in a video before this that despite my not being able to properly promote my pre-orders campaign for Travel and Spice, it was still my second most successful pre-order campaign ever. And I would like to be able to dedicate more time to it, dedicate more time to my author pl platform, to my website, to my Facebook page, to my YouTube channel, which 
I think are more important to my writing career than writing on fiction travel pieces for magazines and sites and my own blog. Well, if I want to make it as a fiction writer, that is. I'm not going to step entirely away from travel writing because it's part of who I am, but it's not part of my business plan anymore now that Travel Twix has been sold. And yes, I still keep an eye on it and see what's going on because, you know, it's my baby, I grew it up and I want to see it succeed and I know it has the potential to achieve great things for whoever owns it if they invest the time and finances into it, actually. Because you know, with very limited resources and quite limited time, I managed to do a pretty good job, I think. And I'm not biased at all when I say that. Shut up with your motorcycle! I'm sorry, if you're hearing the bike, I usually love the sound of it, but not when it pollutes my videos. Go away. Anyway, moving on. So, the thing is, I have 25 weeks to make it as an author and I am going to redesign my entire work schedule to fit that. So my day will be divided between uh, writing, editing stuff I'm supposed to edit, promoting my stuff and reading. Because reading is as important as the actual writing as far as I'm concerned. Plus I'm still running guys on books and I have to read a review for that site. Which somehow ties in with my entire author promotion plan, so that's time well invested. I will reveal more of my plans for the next six months as time goes by and they're clearer in my head and I intend to make videos about my progress. I'm not thinking I'm going to do it once a week and let you know how it's going. I'm not sure if I'm good any of my numbers, again, because I don't want to give anyone any false expectations or ideas or hopes because the amount I need to live on is a lot lower than anyone else in any different country would need. So I'm not sure. However, if you're an author and you want to see how it, my sales grew and what helped, what didn't, if you want a private chat about numbers, I'm always open to do that. I'm just not going to broadcast that you can live on this amount every month when I know for a fact it's not true. It's not even true for people living in this country that have different circumstances than I do. I mean, at that point I'll be completely debt free other than my cell phone subscription and some online services that I pay on for monthly. I will have no freaking bills to pay. So it's a quite unique situation. I don't pay rent, as I said. Uh, most of my expenses revolve around, you know, my food and my dog's stuff. Like food and treats and vet and things like that. So, as you can see, it doesn't apply to a lot of people. Of course, if my numbers grow so high then that anyone could live on that amount, I will make that public because I think I think it's healthy when we share what actually works, how much money you can expect and what investment it requires for it to happen. I will continue to do my quarterly uh, results and plans videos where I analyze what I did, what went wrong, what worked, what could have been better and how many books I released to make it happen and I will keep you updated about, you know, upcoming releases, publishers I might work with, projects I might be interested in. I will continue to keep my Sunday, Monday and Thursday schedule for now. If things go okay, I will probably invest more in my filming equipment for YouTube. Right now I'm using my boyfriend's camera. Hi Mike! Which is pretty good for image and everything, but I would need a microphone and maybe a different camera that's, you know, easier to use than his. His is kind of a pro camera. So we shall see. But right now I'm just focusing on making sure I can pay my way through the next six months and still dedicate all my time to writing. And that said, what I didn't 
already mentioned so far is that the past month and change has been extremely stressful for me. This transaction wasn't the easiest one, there was a lot of talking and negotiating and discussing terms and then everything that could go wrong went wrong and there were needs for clarification and sending I don't know how many confirmations that everything was going according to plan and dealing with people who can't read their email and I know that myself and the person who bought this website had to go through a lot of hoops to finally see that this transaction settled. It's been a tough month and a half. I've dropped a lot of balls and most of those were concerning Eyes on Books and the weekly massive lists of books to read and the giveaway attached to those lists which were supposed to go out every week but I, I think I'm now at the point where I took first two weeks off and then I took this week off because it just I wasn't sleeping at night, I wasn't like able to eat at all and I was just so stressed that my stress related rash came back <laughs> it wasn't funny so um, other than this video I'm not sure I'm going to publish anything else until Monday I know I was supposed to publish on Sunday but I think I'm just going to take these few days off to just decompress, finalize everything about this transaction because there are still documents that need to be sent here and there, accounts to be transferred and stuff like that. And I will see you all back Monday with the regular videos. I'm not sure if there is going to be a manuscript Monday because as you can imagine I didn't really write this week. It happens, I'm sorry. but. I'm human in the end and I think it all works out for the best because I can come back Monday and start my 25 week challenge fresh and ready to work and take the writing world by storm and by that I mean moderately better than I've already taken it by storm which is 10 people know about me I'm exaggerating of course anyway thank you for sticking through this convoluted announcement video. I could have probably scripted this but I was afraid the emotional phase of this transaction would hit sooner rather than later so I thought I'd just go like this without a script just instantly saying whatever comes to mind and I hope it made some sort of sense in the end. Thank you so much for tuning in and for watching. I look forward to see your comments in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and maybe hit that notification bell to get the announcement whenever I publish something new. I know YouTube has just changed its complete look and it's annoying as hell because nothing is where it's supposed to be and we have to get used to it. So I appreciate you doing all of that. I shall see you all next week and I know it's only Thursday but have a great weekend because I'm sure it's about taking a break. Bye!